Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today we're going to be talking about the level 1000 glitch that a bunch of people have been doing in the Call of Duty community recently, and what I think about the glitches and what the developers are going to do to fix this problem. But before we get into that, I want to talk about the gameplay really fast. It's a 32 and 5 on the map Metro. We're playing some demolition with my clan defined by nature, and I kind of have a slow start, but after like the third kill, I go into beast mode on the other team, so enjoy the gameplay in the background, and let's talk about the glitches. So, like I said, this level 1000 glitch has been going on recently, and I honestly don't even know why some of these players think it's a good idea to do this now if you have done this I'm not bashing you or anything like that but you guys got to understand that Treyarch is not gonna let this simply go by uh, they're not gonna let the players get away with reaching the highest level in the game uh, not legitly anyway and really the only reason why this glitch has become so popular is because other youtubers are making videos about how to do it and uh, I really don't think that's a good idea either because uh, look what a rock star did to the GTA 5 youtubers that made videos about the money glitch there's numerous gaming companies that have taken action towards youtubers that make tutorials about how to exploit their game and I do see Treyarch or Activision not letting this one slide by because in fact they are ruining the game And I was tweeting this out a couple of days ago So I was in a game of S&D and I realized that half my team wasn't even playing the game And they didn't even spawn in for that matter So I go to Twitter and I'm like what's up with everyone not spawning in S&D And a follower of mine tweeted out uh, to me and he was saying that they're doing some crypto key glitch And when other people say that the crypto key glitch is not hurting the game It's simply not true at all because players that actually want to play the game and win They're at a disadvantage because half the team is gone uh, But again I think the developers are going to take some form of action against these youtubers and players that have done the 1k level glitch and if you guys miss David Von Der Haar's tweet it's up on screen so they do know who these players are and something's gonna happen to them eventually but honestly this isn't really upsets me the most now what upsets me is when these other youtubers title and tag glitch videos tips and tricks a tips and tricks video is supposed to help you get better at the game and glitching is simply not doing that at all it makes you look like someone who needs to do an exploit because they can't hang with the better players in the online community and I guarantee if you search up tips and tricks you're gonna find half of the videos are a glitch videos and the other content creators like myself that are actually trying to make other players better at the game. Uh, they're getting ranked out by these other bigger YouTubers making tutorials on uh, exploits about the game which don't even make you better at all. So uh, now I'm thankful for my success that my channel has been getting recently. Like you guys have been killing it on my videos lately. So again, thank y'all for that. Ever since Black Ops 3's came out, my channel has been doing so well. I wish there was a way I could thank each and every one of you. Whoever watched my video, left a like or comment. I really do appreciate all your support and I got some really good content on the way. But another reason why I care about the glitches that title and tag the videos tips and tricks is because there's a bunch of other smaller channels that are making actual tips and tricks videos that are really good but they don't get a lot of views because these bigger channels are making videos about glitches and to the people that actually do glitches in game I really don't care about that too much but if the glitch involves you not playing the game or making it harder for me to win that's when I care but I also care about the YouTube side of things because there's some really good content creators that are out there that are making actual tips and tricks videos so uh, that's my thoughts about the 1k glitch tell me what you guys think down in the comments and also drop a like if you guys did enjoy and subscribe for the greatest Call of Duty Black Ops 3 videos. Again, guys, thank y'all so much for all the support you guys have been showing me lately on, my, on all my Black Ops 3 videos for that matter. And uh, I'm going to keep on grinding it off for you guys. I'm going to keep on making some awesome tips and tricks videos for you guys. And if you guys want me to make more commentaries like this, then please let me know down in the comments as well because uh, I really want to get back into commentating. I really want to start getting some really good gameplay for you guys. So whatever you guys want to see, tell me that down in the comments. Thank y'all for watching. I'm Reverts. Have a good rest of the day. Till next time, I'll catch y'all later.